Okay, so BDC round five, the invasion, the final at Rockingham. A bit gutted that it's going to be the last ever time we're going to compete at Rockingham, but I tell you what, I'm super pumped. We had a great time at tracks a couple of weeks ago. Hey, Chris, dancing in the back there. But uh, yeah, the LS said she's sweet. We're ready to rock. We're going to burn some tyres up today, and we're going to have a great time. I've come from the interview for <laughs> Drifty's videos on the vlog. Am I shouting? <laughs> it's because I've got headphones on. I don't like to state the art of the bloody obvious, but obviously with a degree in the art of the bloody obvious, it comes out, and that's bloody obvious. <laughs> you don't have to blow the bloody doors off. But absolutely. So what I would like to say is absolutely nothing of any interest to anybody on your blog whatsoever, other than Mr. Nice Guy. At some point, he'll actually drive the car to its full capability. Once he gets to his full capability, obviously the skill level will have to go on eBay. I think it's about a five pound delivery charge. But other than that, he'll be fine. He's also deaf, obviously. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, sir. We were just saying, just saying that on a scale of one to 11, you are 11 and an eight. I don't know what the does that make any difference? That doesn't mean nothing either, does it? Just to be clarified. What's the scale for? The scale? That oh, could be anything, couldn't it, really? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apply within us and the postcard. If it was niceness, obviously, it'd be off the scale. If it was for sheer animal, I mean, look at him. Just hand over. Look, there we go. That's scary, isn't it? That's proper scary. Am I still shouting, by the way? Because I've still got my headphones on. Anyway, have a pleasant day, and I'm sure we'll see him <coughs> rocking his socks off. He's probably got the hex turret. <laughs> 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 and you got to do this. <laughs> 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 you tell us the final. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Play with the cold starts. <laughs> yeah, it's cold start today. Yeah, we've been uh, struggling to get the V8 to start up when she's really cold, as in this morning. Uh, takes a bit of throttle sort of movement and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, hopefully John is gonna get this one sorted out. Gonna try. Always a bit risky when it's uh, on the final and you're doing these kind of modifications, but uh, yeah, let's go with it. The film crew deliberately tried me to get a stir up this. You can't stir this, the man is made of steel. Titanium. Maybe, possibly, carbon fiber inserts. However, today, now he's got himself fine tuned. All the sponsors on the car are happy with the nice shiny paintwork. We've got the new Wise Fab stuff on there. It just helps you not spin more, that's all that's for. And then, this is going to be in the car with a steering wheel. That obviously I helps a that. little bit. It's been mapped to perfection. What we've done now is we've got Giga Boost on there. So when you see Back to the Future, that's nothing. We ain't going back to 1986. We're not going forward to, well, anywhere. Because we are gonna be some okay. well, We're just lining up for first practice here on Sunday morning at the final. Super pumped, had a great day yesterday doing practice. A couple of little spins and a few errors, but I think we're in a really good position. So can't wait to get out there now, really excited, so here we go.
So here we are, day two. Pro EDC. And Biz, Mr. Nice Guy, has picked the easiest draw that he could have possibly got. He's going up against an Irish fella called Mer Merkiva. So we're just going to go over and do a quick interview. So if you follow me over here on the Biz blog. So uh, we'll go to the Irish fella first. The favourite phrase of all day. So you've got Biz. Now Biz is Mr. Nice Guy. You see, if you beat Mr. Nice Guy, he has a good chance <laughs> there'll be a tear in the eye. Right. So, do you feel pressure, <laughs> or is it pressure for tyres? Don't like it, but yeah, pressure. Pressure's no, for tyres. Nobody should feel pressure. No. Not even Biz. Yeah. So, yeah. you do realise that he's going to be... What's the term they use in drifting? Because I've never, I ain't worked it out drifting yet. Is it on the door or something? On yeah. the door. Is he going to be on the door? Where do you want him, son? Where do you want, want him? I want him on my door. On the door? Yeah. yeah. We want to see a good battle. Yeah. So, Biz. Hello, sir. Best of luck with this, son. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> In a nutshell, that is exactly what we're still saying. Yeah. Yeah. See you drifting, right. I tell you, guys, this is what drifting's about, right? It's this. Yeah. <laughs> Followed by a hug. Yeah, and that man, is what it's, it's all, all about. about Right. He's about 10 feet taller than me, 10 <laughs> years younger than me, but I tell you what, he's going to definitely show me how it's done. <laughs> so the, the last Rockingham, you just do the best you can do yeah, and man. enjoy yourself. You're doing the best you can do yeah. and I'm proud of all of you. That's gonna be I've, really, I've really had a great few years with no, you guys, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Cut! <laughs> Get the track out now. Something's burning under there. I don't know if it's the uh, I don't know if it's the cone or what it is. We got to jack it up. Something's on fire under there. No, 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 not yet. I think it's just the cone. This side, mate. This side. That's all I've got. That's a bit. Yeah. Oh, what you about to say? Oh, what you about, mate? I can't believe that. Whoa, 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 too far, too far. The hell's it bent, mate? Ah, oh, I know what's happened. Just it's being hit. <laughs> yeah, take it. We good? Yeah, it's fine. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. You ready?
Cut. That's at the end of 2018 at Rockingham. Wasn't the final that I was hoping for. Unfortunately, my qualification and, and stuff like that kind of let me down a little bit. But I got a chance to go up against Dwayne. Who knows what happened to my entry there. We went a bit straight on and obviously then spun out and stuff. But I tell you what, this season has been outstanding. You know, we, we've come on such a long way. We qualified in every event, which is a big plus since the uh, previous season. The team has just been out of this world and so are the sponsors. It wouldn't be here without either of those sets of guys. It's a big thanks from me, and but it's definitely not the last you're going to be seeing of us and the LSZ. So 2019, you better watch out. We're coming in hard. This is what I have to deal with. 